Now, your first alert weather with meteorologist Jeff Denoyer. So Jeff, yesterday was pretty gloomy out there. Nice day to take a nap, but today you're going to want to get outside. It's going to be nice. Yeah, I think a lot of people who maybe pushed off those outdoor plans yesterday yeah. may be taking advantage today. And if you are, good for you and enjoy. A, a little little smoke on the water there in Gunnersville. That's a great song. A little deep purple, early 1970s, totally dating myself. But Gunnersville, yes, it'll still be a beautiful day, even though there's a little fog out there. It's not the type of fog where I can't see the lake, but it's there. And it may obscure that sunrise just a little bit in Gunnersville. But it's still going to be a beautiful day. Uh, you can see that fog starting to get a little bit more dense there in Fort Payne. If you're driving up towards Eider and into portions of Mentone. And yeah, it looks like right now, for the most part, the Cab County, you're kind of like socked in a bit. But everybody else, for the most part, has just a little bit of fog. And that's about it. Temperatures in the 50s and low 60s. And it cooled off once that rain came to an end yesterday. And it absolutely poured for parts of the area. That rain was part of a cold front and the air behind it is crisp and it's going to be nice and pleasant once we burn off whatever fog we have out there this morning. Winds have turned more northerly. They're not strong today. It'll be about five to 10 miles an hour, but it's that direction that's so important because it's tugging down a dry air mass. It's so comfortable for you. Satellite and radar cleared things out nicely. Just the fog we have to burn off, but the rain itself has moved well to the east. And really, besides just a little late day cloud cover, this is turning out to be a pretty nice Sunday. If you like sunshine and temperatures near 80 with low humidity, you like all three of those, it's good. And you can see we've carved out this really wonderful little pocket of uh, sunshine for us today. That's a song too. Rain on the roof. Yeah, we're going to be tracking a little bit of it as we go into the beginning part of the week. Monday and Tuesday. This looks like it's mainly Monday afternoon, Monday night, and it's probably more south of the river. If you're north of the river, a little less chance. And then Wednesday, Thursday, and I'm going to scrap that 20% on Friday. What is that doing there? Get out of there. I don't have that in the forecast anymore because I think we're dry until the end of the week. And I think that's how we'll actually start Memorial Day weekend. Dry it with some sunshine. So hour by hour for today, waking up around 60. Little cloud cover late in the day, but overall it's a beautiful day with temperatures in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees. And we go into tonight. Clouds will thicken up. You have a lot of cloud cover when you wake up on Monday morning, but nothing in the way of any rainfall. Temperatures will be in the low to mid 60s. And then during the afternoon, not so much in the morning, but afternoon, there'll be a few little spots showers, maybe a little rumble of thunder. Again, better chances will be south of the river. If you're north of the river, like if you live in Fayetteville or if you live in Pulaski or if you live in Athens or Hazel Green, a lot less of a chance than if you live in like Coleman or Vinemont or Phil Campbell, maybe even for portions of like Boaz. So we'll be tracking it closely. It doesn't scream like widespread rainfall, just kind of nuisance stuff that we'll kind of keep track of to make sure we can keep you up to date. There's that spot shower on Tuesday. Otherwise, Wednesday through Saturday looks nice. May track a little bit of rain for the Memorial Day weekend. The timing of it, and this is a really early call, and I know a lot of you trying to make those outdoor plans. Looks like Sunday afternoon, Sunday night into Monday morning, but obviously we'll find tune that forecast with each and every day as we get closer to the holiday weekend.